Yeah, you may feel like you're sitting in some chicken grease if you stay out there too long. <laughs> Seriously. God, I mean, you, you can cook your chicken out there if you want to because it's just, we'll try it <laughs> it's just so hot. And because uh, temperatures have been running even warmer than what they have been. Uh, 98 has been the hottest so far this season, and that's what we've seen the past several days. And this heat is going to be around for the end of your weekend. So just keep that in mind if you have some outdoor plans. Stay inside and stay cool if you can. Otherwise, you may see a little bit of rainfall, which is how you're cooling off down toward the Homa area in Dulac. You're seeing a pretty good thunderstorm kind of sitting over the area right now, and that's bringing some pretty heavy rainfall and some gusty winds and frequent lightning. So if you were outdoors there, just stay inside for a little while longer and let these storms pass through. Uh, still seeing a pretty good intensity with these storms. So within the next half hour to an hour, hopefully we'll start to see these uh, dying down. But the bigger picture is showing uh, some rain and storms off to the east in the southeastern Gulf of Mexico and a storm system to our north. It's a cold front that's going to be moving toward the south. Right now, we have high pressure across our area. That's dry air. That's why our temperatures have been creeping up to 97, 98 degrees. We are going to see a cold front dive toward the south, and it's this low that we'll actually be watching as it moves toward the Gulf of Mexico and will kind of stall there and may develop another low that moves back toward our area. So let's talk about that. As we go into Sunday and Monday, we'll see this cold front pushing toward the south. Then notice the moisture just kind of accumulating around the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to slowly start to move back toward the west. We may see an area of low pressure develop and then continue to push toward the west. Now the question will be, will this remain an area of low pressure or could we possibly see some tropical characteristics with this? Right now, it's just too far away to make that, assert, uh, that assumption. So what we'll be watching for is some rainfall to increase across our area as we head toward the end of the week. Some forecast models then take this further up toward the north back into the Alabama, Florida coast and continuing to move off toward the Northeast. So it's going to be something that we have to watch as we go into next week. And of course, we will keep you updated on that. Meanwhile, for us, the big story are the temperatures. Right now, it's still sitting at 98 for you at Bogalusa, 97 at Slidell, 96 at Gulfport. You were showing 98 to 99 degrees earlier along the Mississippi Gulf Coast, still 97 at Kenner, but a rain cooled 88 for you in Galliano. Heat index values for many areas from 100 up to 110. And we could see heat index values again up to 105, 106 as we go into Sunday afternoon. So we do have some rainfall around this evening again, still toward the coast. But as we head to the evening and overnight hours, it'll be pretty dry and humid for us. Starting out your Sunday morning in the mid to the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Then we're going to heat up once again going into the afternoon, 96, 97 up to 98 degrees going to be possible. I do have a 20% chance for a passing shower, but for most of you, it's just going to be another dry and hot day. And and that will continue as we go into early next week. So again, the feels like temperatures will be up to about 100 to 105 once again across many areas, unless you do see a passing shower. Putting it all together for you on your seven day forecast. Again, high heat through about Monday highs up to 97 degrees and then a little bit of a wetter pattern shaping up for us as we head toward the end of the week. And of course, we'll be watching that cold front as it pushes toward the south going into next week.